Few international celebrities have attained a level of fame where their faces are universally recognized. Bridget Bardot, the iconic star of the 50s and 60s, achieved this without venturing into Hollywood, unlike her European counterparts, such as Sophie Loren from Italy or Marlene Dietrich from Germany. Bardot's allure has stemmed from her remarkable beauty. Bob Dylan once revealed to Playboy that he dedicated his first ever song to her and John Lennon was reportedly obsessed with her, as reported by the International Business Times. Even Jane Birkin, Serge Gainsbourg's longtime partner, who also had a romantic involvement with Bardot, couldn't resist acknowledging her magnetism. She confessed to Vanity Fair that during the filming of Don Juan, or if Don Juan were a woman, she was intrigued by the French icon, longing to scrutinize every part of her physique to confirm her beauty concluding that Bardot was flawless. Despite her stunning appearance, Bardot's life was far from easy, and her complex relationship with the media contributed significantly to her fiercely guarded privacy. When questioned about this during an interview with Passan Nabouj, Bardot coyly responded, I prefer to display only my best side, punctuated with a laugh. From the zenith of her career to the challenging moments, this encapsulates the undisclosed reality of Bridget Bardot. Bridget Bardot continued her career as a model during her late teenage years. After gracing the cover of Elle magazine's May 1950 issue, she started to attract attention from prominent figures in the film industry. According to France Today, director Marc Adebrecht known for discovering female talent, was one of those influential figures. Allegret sent his assistant, Roger Vadim, to meet Bardot. Although she didn't land a role in Allegret's current project, she captured the heart of the assistant instead. Bardot's blossoming romance with Vadim faced opposition from her parents, who even considered sending her away to England, as reported by France Today. This led the young model to attempt suicide, prompting her parents to eventually permit the relationship, with the condition that Vadim wouldn't marry Bardot until she turned 18. The couple eventually married on December 21, 1952. Just four years later, Vadim cast Bardot in his directorial debut and God Created Woman, marking a historic moment in both their careers as noted by the Los Angeles Times. This film propelled Bardot to international stardom as a seductive screen icon. Vadim expressed in his book, Bardot, the new Fonda, cited by the Washington Post. I did not create Bridget Bardot. I simply assisted her in flourishing. Bardot's marriage to her first husband, Roger Vadim, ended in divorce in 1957 after less than five years together. As reported by the Sydney Morning Herald, following various relationships, the renowned Bond actress eventually settled down with her second husband, Jacques Charrier, in 1959, coinciding with the year she discovered her pregnancy, resulting in her only child, Nicholas. However, this period, typically a time of happiness for most mothers, was distressing for Bardot. In her 1996 memoir, Initials BB, Bardot disclosed that she resorted to repeatedly striking herself in the stomach in an attempt to terminate her pregnancy. She described gazing at her flat, slender belly in the mirror, comparing it to a dear friend on whom she was about to close a coffin lid, as cited by the Sydney Morning Herald. The Independent noted that the contempt actress and her publisher had to pay £28,000 in damages for hurtful statements about her son and former husband. Although her self-administered abortion methods were shocking, the most disturbing passages involved her referring to her son as a cancerous tumor and expressing a wish to have given birth to a little dog, according to The Independent. Understandably, Bardot and her son never had a close relationship. She lost custody of him in 1963, only reconciling sometime around 2014, as reported by the Sydney Morning Herald, coinciding with her becoming a great-grandmother. <laughs>